Hey guys, today's video is about how I do my photographing for eBay and Poshmark photos. So if you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. So, you can see I've got some wonderful lighting right now and that is because I'm in my large walk-in softbox with <laughs> her behind me. But here I am stepping out of it, and this is it. Sorry, I'm holding my phone, so it's a little shaky. However, I've had a lot of people ask me questions about how I do my photographing. Do I like my softbox? Spoiler alert, I do. And what my process is. So I thought that could be the theme of today's video. So let's get into it. So as you saw from when I stepped out of my light box, soft box, whatever you want to call it, the brand that I have is called Concene, and I'll put a little picture of it right here. And I'm also gonna link it down below. I purchased it on Amazon, and this is not the first light or soft box that I purchased. I had first purchased the Amazon Basics photo box. It is meant for items like purses, shoes, small hard goods, and it's awesome. I really loved it. I think I paid around 160 or so for it. However, you can't fit clothing in there or not very well. So my next step was to buy this. Prior to owning this, I just had the umbrella light kits. I'm not sure what brand I had though. I'll probably put a picture of it right here so you can see. They are great. However, they just take up a lot of space and I need a compact space to do my photography in because I really don't have a large office and I was taking up just another room in my house that was supposed to be a shared family area. So that's why I really wanted this soft box because it's compact. I mean, this is it. I can fit in here and you can't see it, but my arms go out a little bit further, but it's a small space and it does the trick. I can do a number of things in here. I can hang items and photograph them on my small little half dress form there or I do flat lays and so it's, there is some versatility to it um, I you know this is a pricier purchase I think it costs around 300 something however in the long run it pays off because um, my photo quality I feel like has drastically improved since then okay so here's some real talk for you guys this is what my photography space looks like it's a little bit crazy, but this is it. And I wanted to give you an idea of what the light box looks like from the outside. It's fairly tall. I don't know how tall it is. Probably six feet, I'm guessing. Um, here is the inside of it. So it does have these silver panels on the side. I'm not sure I entirely put it together as it's supposed to go. However, this is the setup that I like. Um, it does come with quite a few lights in here, and you can see this is where I have mine placed. Where else? There's some there. And then this one I don't have plugged in because I haven't felt like I needed it. And then looking up on the inside, I've got one there. I'm not sure why that one's not plugged in. I think it's just unplugged for the moment. There's that one, that one, and that one. Um, I did have to supply my own power strip, which is down there. I could plug in the other two and maybe it would get a little bit brighter, but I'm really content with the quality of the photos that I'm getting. So um, if I'm wanting to hang something on my little model here, I'll just put the item on there and photograph and I'll show you what that looks like uh, shortly. And then otherwise, if I want, it's getting a little bit blurry here, I'm not sure why. There we go. <laughs> there she is. If I want to do a flat lay, I just do it down here. I will say, this isn't a complaint because this is just going to happen in general. However, it can get pretty dusty down here. And I'm not sure if I can show you guys what that looks like. Do you see there's like little spots here and here? If you were closer, you could see lint a little bit better. But I actually just use, let's see if I can grab it, these Costco disinfecting wipes. And I just wipe it down. I'm not sure if there's a better or more professional way. I'm trying to, look at me. I'm trying to grab one for you and they just keep, <laughs> there we go. 
I just wipe them down like this. And then, you know, I obviously let it dry afterwards before I put anything in here. But you can just wipe it down and it will clean it out nicely and make it white and bright again. So you can kind of see there's in the back there, it still needs to be wiped down because I only did the front section here. So this is what the inside looks like. Another thing I forgot to show is that there are these dimmer switches. So you can see it got a little bit darker. I don't know which light it is. It must be one of the ones on the side. But anyways, you can turn it down and up to adjust the brightness. Now I have seen some people when they've set it up, they put the drape, like maybe there's supposed to be a drape here to hold in the light and make the photos look better. I don't have it on there. However, I will say I do make sure that I turn off my overhead light in my office because if I don't, it will sometimes affect the quality of the photos I've noticed. Sometimes it'll give it a warmer tone, which I'm not necessarily looking for. So if you have your lights on in the room, that you have your softbox or any, actually any photo setup, you're gonna wanna shut those off. Okay, so here I am taking a photo in square mode of a purse. So I tap on it to adjust the exposure on here. So it's gonna make it brighter or darker. And this is how I get that crisp, clean, white background that I'm looking for in my photos take the photo and then I can go into edit and here in edit you can do a number of things but the thing I'm pointing out is adjusting the cast so if your photo has yellowy tones to it if you go down it will take out some of that tone and then you can also adjust the brightness um, or the lighting in there again here is a skirt that I'm photographing you see if I tap around it's going to change kind of the coloring and the brightness of the item so I want to find what's going to capture it accurately and again if I go into edit I can adjust the cast if it's too yellowy and then go into lighting and play with the brightness on the photo and again that's just going to give me that crisp white background as well as capture the color in this one I'm using the dress form and you can see that when I adjust the brightness, I can actually lose the shape or the background of the dress form, which I like also because it doesn't detract from the garment. And again, if I just go in closer, it's gonna capture more vibrantly the colors of the top. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is this app I use that whitens the background of your photos. It's called Magic Eraser. And it gives you this little magic wand so you select your garment and then you tap and it'll mass white out these gray areas to give us that nice crisp white clean background this is available on the app store for iphones not sure about android and to my knowledge the app is free but i could be wrong about that so again i'm just clicking around and using the little magic wand tool then you can use a, a brush which you can see I'm doing now to kind of get out some of those gray dots. Um, this isn't necessarily perfect because I'm just using it as a demo. But yeah, just whitening out those spots down there at the bottom and the side here. And then you can save it and I save it as a high resolution JPEG. And then we can select another item. So this one didn't work as well, but I wanted to show you guys. For some reason, the little magic tool was picking up some other tones or colors and so when I went to click that it whited out half of the jacket so again trying to do it and failing <laughs> works on the side and over not over there okay so here's a camisole and it did work on here for the most part however when I got over to the side here again it picked up some sort of color or the bottom and knocked out the bottom half. So that's where I'm just gonna use that tool, the brush to fine tune it. And again, not doing the, this perfectly because it's just for the demo, but you can adjust the size of the brush to get better results. And again, just using the magic wand and the brush tool to just clean up any little spots on the side and then saving it as a high-res JPEG. 
So this is what the Magic Eraser app looks like on the App Store in case you're curious and wanted to download it. To my knowledge, again, it is free. So I will say that I don't always use that Magic app, that Magic Whitening app. Sometimes I can just achieve it all on my own. That's most times, to be honest. It's only times that I really like to use it actually is on dresses because sometimes it captures this silver part um, for longer items because I'm trying to get that square fit. So I think that's when that tool can come in really handy. Another thing I want to say about the soft box is that the instructions aren't the best. You will read this in some of the reviews. However, you kind of figure it out. Like you'll get frustrated, you'll start to put it together and think, am I doing this right? It becomes intuitive as you go on. However, it is not in the beginning. So kind of do your best to just piece it together. You're gonna to just be putting a lot of pulls together and then looping them through different areas. I mean, you know what it looks like. So yeah, it's not the best and that's just kind of part of having it. <laughs> But with all that said, um, that's how I do my photography. This is my setup. If you are curious, I hope it's answered some questions for some people and it's probably opened a lot of other questions for other people. So with that said, please put any questions or comments that you have down below. I'll try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do hit the button down below so you'll be notified when I put out new content. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. Talk with you later. Bye.